Etios Hybrid Tools Dark Prophecy is kind of an enigmatic instrument. It's hard to know uh, what you're going to get. So let me run through some of the patches here and look at what you're going to get so that you have a better idea of what you'd be buying. The folder structure gives you a synth and then two Time Machine Pro stretching patches for Soothsayer and Divination. Then there's a bunch of presets, including things like Suspense Builder and The Hopeful. And there's some light patches, which are also Soothsayer and Divination, but without the Time Machine Pro enabled. Time Machine Pro basically means it's going to sync to your DAW's tempo or the BPM that you've got in contact here. So I've got 88 BPM here. We can now take off the master since you've seen it. Let's load up just the regular synth because that's going to be a place a lot of people are going to start. As usual, you get the beautiful welcome screen that you have to click enter to. And as usual, there are the chaos effects on the other tab. Notice that uh, reverb is enabled by default and delay is enabled by default. So is EQ with a tiny little boost. I'll leave them on for now. The synth opens up with these patches. It looks like it's 22 patches. And you can stack them by just clicking more or not stack them and have one at a time selected. This is what they sound like on some notes across the range. A lot of low end in that one. time because usually these I think of these as usually kind of drone types of sounds A lot of different pitches in that patch there. So you can see a lot of these are going to be really useful for atmosphere, drones, um, backing, parts. You can also uh, gate them. So any of this stuff that I've been playing can be gated. That's the default gate. To adjust the gate, you want to click plus and you can adjust length and rate. is individually timed so you'd have to press them together to get them all to play together.
mod wheel introduces a filter. Pass filter. Test station. I've actually used this one quite a bit. I find this one pretty interesting. Sometimes I'll use an external gate, something that I can have a little bit more control with. There's also a sequencer, and if you um, pick the sequencer, you can do things like octaves and go up and down, and uh, I can add another note. Right? Cursed. So you get the idea. Kind of spooky, atmospheric, sense of doom some of the time. You know, the Dark Prophecy starts to make sense now as, as a fitting name for the package. Uh, when we go back to Time Machine Pro, this is the Soothsayer set. And you'll notice you'll get different patches to choose from. So we've got Cataclysm, Basically, impacts, stingers, and because these are Time Machine Pro, these should be synced to your sequencer tempo or your contact instrument tempo. Can transpose that. But all of these are one per key until you hit the stretch button. Click stretch, choose it, click stretch, and then... I get to play it at a different pitch, right? Darker tones. Could be called darker noises. So again, more atmospheres, organic. Great for space, setting the tone. This is where it really fits into the hybrid tools category. Could use these in games for atmospheric, environmental types of sounds. Or just sound effect types of things. Um, we got clusters now. And that indicates kind of a atonal to me. If I hit reverse, I have to move the offset up, but it can become kind of a riser. Tones evil. Nothingness. So a lot of these are more environmental. Horns. Now this should be interesting because you wouldn't expect brass to be in this, but that may be a synth kind of horn. Let's see. 
Might not have been what you expected. So very sound design horns. There, that's the first one that really sounded like a brass sample. Now impacts again, these are pretty dark. Not a lot of bright high end on this. You can probably hear my keyboard. So the impacts there are very subtle, I would say. Behind the wall. One sounds a bit like a timpani roll that's been manipulated. Maybe some cymbals involved, some percussive things. Great for transitions. Here's some endings. So one of the things that I find with these types of collections is it's very difficult to remember where the cool keys are, the cool sounds that you want to use are. You kind of have to go through each of them every time you want to use them. There's a bit of randomness in that, which can be kind of inspiring, but if you don't find what you want, it can be kind of confusing and time consuming. You know, how would I have known that that cool sound was on this E in the tone section of this? So that's, that's sort of the downside of these. Is that they have a lot of hidden gems, but it's hard to know where the... Where the cool sounds are. Here's Unknowable. Let's move on to divination. So this is also, we're going to do the Time Machine Pro version in case we want to stretch them. But uh, this is going to be a similar group, a little smaller group. We start with visions. Personally, I see the Soothsayer as a little bit more appropriate, ap applicable to a lot of genres and variety of genres, including crime and horror. Uh, divination uh, tends to be a little bit more on the mystical side of things and gets a little bit more into the spirit realm. So the names are for fairly appropriate there. Dream World. Haunted. Dark Church. See what I mean about the spiritual? There's a little bit of a possessed sound to some of these, a little bit more sense of spirit realm. Collision. <laughs> Swamp. 
swells. Now this might be the exception. This could probably used, be used in crime and other investigative types of uh, soundtracks as well. feel great for reveals. Those kind of subtle build-ups that you need. Inside the cell. Actually, going back to that swells real quickly, this one with the piano, let's listen to that at stretched. Yeah, chromatic kind of confuses your ear. I mean, you can hear the time stretching in there, so you might want to use it closer to the, uh, you can hear the artifacting going on, so you might want to use it closer to the uh, center pitch. A lot of reverb baked into these, so inside the cell, this feels very uh, warehousey. Abandoned prison kinds of sounds, kind of a Walking Dead types of thing. Silent night. I mean, it's really a treasure trove of these types of sounds. Now again, you could gate these. And you can stack them. So there's lots of options about how, I mean, they're not just drones, the whole point of, of, of getting something like this. Let's stack a few of these. Sorry, we're probably distorting a little bit there. Let's hit the chaos button and see what happens. We'll also do some random and some chaos. I think this is still probably engaged. There we go. Let's take gate off. Cool. Sorry, I'm starting to distort again when I... So some pretty cool stuff there. Now, when you go into the presets folder, of course, there's more. But wait, there's more. Some of these have been pre-curated uh, for you.
So this is called Big Risers. It's one of the presets, and they took all these Cataclysm things and reversed them, changed their attack a little bit in the offset. Nothing you couldn't have done yourself, but it's nice to have it uh, there and named so that you can think about ways to reuse the same samples. Dead air. And this is just one uh, sample that's been stretched. Devourer. Definitely some uh, delay effects that have been mixed high there. So you get the idea. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this package. I hope this little quick uh, run through was helpful. And uh, take care, enjoy, make some great music. See you next time.